Hello, everybody. My name is Nizar Habash. I'll be presenting the Fig News Shared Task on News Media Narratives. This is the overview paper of the uh, Shared Task. This work was done with my colleagues, Wajdi Zagwani, Mustafa Jabbar, Buddha Babmur, Imad Zetouni, Mona Diab, Samhad Biltaki, and Mohammed Abu Oud. Uh, this shared task is, is a unique kind of shared task compared to what we typically expect in shared tasks. So while in typical shared task, the organizers provide the data set with its gold uh, references, uh, specify the metrics uh, for the evaluation, and let the participants uh, provide uh, outputs that, that are compared against the gold references. Uh, the goal the goal of this shared task is to uh, come up with the guidelines and come up with the annotations. What is shared is a set of data, uh, and how we evaluate is in terms of the quality of the annotation guidelines that are produced. We picked this particular definition of the problem for the shared task because we're aware of the high degree of subjectivity in uh, annotations for bias and propaganda. And um, we thought that this would be a good space for us to study the degree of variations uh, that can uh, happen when people attempt to annotate uh, in these uh, target tasks. We focus on the early days of the Israel war on Gaza as a case study, but this could have been applied for any other area of uh, real world uh, issues. Um, as part of the task itself, we provided all of the uh, teams that wanted to participate with uh, 15,000 posts uh, in five languages, Arabic, English, French, Hebrew, and Hindi, uh, of which 3,000 posts were provided for each one of these. Uh, the data was split into 15,000 batches of 1,000 posts each, 900 of which are main and 100 used for inter entity agreement. So there were 15 batches uh, and these, each of them had equal number of sentences from the five different languages. Uh, the teams that participated were numerous, uh, but only 17 passed all of the basic requirements, which included that the uh, team must annotate two batches, uh, batch one and batch two specifically, and that any additional batches that they do have to be uh, growing in the number of the batches as they're specified. They go to batch three, batch four, batch five. And uh, and they also must do the inter agreement for the annotators uh, that participated in the batch. Uh, in total, there were 17 teams, 16 of which participated in bias annotation and six in the propaganda annotations. Collectively, close to 130,000 data points are created, which we think is a wonderful resource that will be used, we hope will be used by other members of the community. Now, the subtasks, again, uh, as I said earlier, are bias and propaganda. What we required of all the teams that participate is that they must stick to the set of labels that we defined. Uh, this was not uh, uh, something that is negotiable. They have to uh, produce uh, uh, guidelines that would work for these uh, labels. This is one way to control uh, the degree of variation, obviously, so that we can compare these different teams against each other. Uh, so for bias, that would be unbiased or biased against Palestine, biased against Israel, bias, biased against both, biased against others, unclear or not applicable. And for propaganda, we gave four options, propaganda, not propaganda, and clear and not applicable. In terms of the tracks of evaluation, we defined four tracks. Guidelines, IA quality, quantity, and consistency. Guidelines is basically targeting the quality of the guidelines that are generated by the uh, by the annotators, of, by the teams. The IA quality is the degree of applying those guidelines. You know, you may have really good idea for guidelines, but then you cannot apply it well, so that's not so great. And then quantity is simply at the amount of data that is annotated, and consistency measures the degree of um, uh, centrality of a particular team compared to other teams. Uh, and this is kind of a, an interesting idea of arguing that the teams that other teams agree with more for the same uh, data points are kind of more central and more grounded than other teams are. Now, these are the results as they will appear on the poster presented at the conference. I'm going to go through each one of these boxes uh, separately. So in terms of the results, the quantity 
uh, for both bias and propaganda, we simply measured the number of data points. Uh, it happens to be that uh, some of the teams actually did all 15 batches and had a very large number of annotators in some cases. So uh, there were some winners who reached you know, a very high number uh, there, and those are the ones who basically got the winning uh, status. We picked always the top three winners for each one of these tracks. In terms of the quality, we measured the inter agreements in terms of Cohen's Kappa. And uh, for this, what we did is for any particular team, we look at the, uh, the inter annotator agreement portions of the data that was annotated. And we uh, look at the pairwise degree of agreement. So we calculate the Kappa per pairwise for each a specific batch and pairs of annotators, and then we average over all of those annotators. And uh, the numbers that we got in some cases were quite high for kappa, you know, above 0.6 or 60% kappa is very strong. So we get very good numbers in those cases, uh, which is consistent with, uh, you know, the, the quality that they are producing or in indicative, I should say, in the quality that they're producing. And then in terms of centrality, we use the macro F1 average. So the macro F1 average here in the case of bias would be the F, the average of the F1 scores, the combination of the uh, uh, precision and recall uh, uh, for each one of the labels associated with the subtask for bias and also for propaganda. And then we do this uh, on the batch one and batch two, which are the batches that are required for everybody to agree on. And then uh, we do it for pairwise uh, between the teams. And then we average across everything. And so the teams here that have the higher degree of the macro F1 average would be the more central, in a sense, uh, across. And uh, for these, we identified the winners that are marked uh, on the screen. Now, in terms of the guidelines, this was a bit trickier because it was a combination of qualitative and quantitative measures. Uh, qualitatively, we identified uh, an eight point rubric, uh, and each one of the uh, the guidelines created by every team that participated were measured in a very simple binary, uh, you know, yes, no, or unclear way. Uh, so these included defining the objective, establishing uh, the category, providing examples, outlining the process, having uh, standards for the quality and handling ambiguity, et cetera. There were eight dimensions. So technically a person, can, a team can get between zero and eight points and that computes their document score. We also use the inter annotator agreement Kappa score that was mentioned in the previous uh, slide uh, for that particular team and we combine the two together. The combination was done by taking the average of the normalized version of these scores. What, how we normalize was simply by dividing by the maximum score that was achieved in that in in the shared task this year among the different teams, uh, so um, if it happens to be that a particular team has the maximum document score and the maximum IA Kappa score, then their average would be one or a hundred percent. Only one team got very close to that; the rest were at different degrees of distance from it. Uh, we show here all of the winners uh, for the guidelines also marked. And the following is the summary of all the winners in the shared task. Uh, some groups did incredibly well, winning multiple first places, others not as well. Uh, but uh, uh, the shared task would not be successful without everybody's contribution to it. Uh, finally, just to show you some examples of the text that we were dealing with, I uh, should have said earlier also that we provided uh, the text in the original language and also with machine translation into English and Arabic uh, and allowed people to spend, to work with any of the different forms when we when they did this. We recognize, of course, that that may be introducing some biases, uh, but uh, it also is reflective of the uh, experience of many uh, people today who may actually read these uh, posts in another language using machine translation uh, on social media. Uh, what we note here from these examples is that while there are some cases with a strong uh, preference in one way or another on important on these uh, different uh, uh, labels, uh, there are many cases when there is a lot of disagreement across all. Uh, the QR codes appearing to uh, the side of the screen uh, are basically linking to the homepage of uh, the project, the GitHub 
uh, repo and a hugging face uh, repo. All of the data is already publicly available uh, and uh, we welcome people to uh, play with it, work with it and uh, see what else they can see beyond what we discuss in the paper. The paper actually has a lot more analysis and details that I'm presenting here. Uh, I look forward to discussing this with you at the conference when you join us there and see you in Bangkok. Thank you very much.